Hi guys, Not a Heart here, and welcome back to another episode of Homestuck Act Omega. Uh, yeah. Yeah, hi. What's up? Really dark. About, I don't know, I'd say it's about uh, 3.41 in the morning, and I only have that one light up there, so. Uh, yeah, sorry, this video came out. My videos always come out late, like, I'll say sorry guys, my video came out late, but like, that, that always happens, because, because, Either, like, something happens, and the video doesn't come out intended, or I get distracted, or I, like, fucking say, fuck, I don't want to record, and I just don't record. But I did, I, I, I'm still on it. Like I said, I do want to record videos more. It isn't, it, 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 it isn't me not wanting to make videos because I'm sad and shit. Or maybe, you know, maybe there's some days, you know, when you have, like, a bad day, but... It's just like, I don't know, I just like, I was like, hmm, I, I forgot to record a video this week. I was like, oh shit, it's been like, what, like a week since I've uploaded? Um, let me hop on that real quick. So, I'm just doing this real quick, and then this should be uploaded the same day I'm recording it, so. Because I'm going to be up, I'm going to be all up editing it, so, which is not a lot. I just add music and an intro and an outro. I don't really need to cut shit out, unless if I start fucking up, then yeah, then I'll start cutting shit out, and you'll see the jump cuts. But, uh, yeah, I'm really itchy right now. Uh, yeah, last time we left off, I, th yeah, uh, fucking Cat Rose, I'm just calling it a yeah, Jazz Rose Sprite, yeah, Jazz Rose was talking to, you know, the fusion of Aridin and Solux, I still don't know how to fucking, I, I don't know, I don't know how to pronounce a lot of Homestuck names, so, like, I really just call it how I see it, so, but yeah, that's the last time we left off, and I guess they're watching the kids about to win the game, so let's just, uh, Hop right into that real quick, making sure everything looks okay. All right, all right. So it looks like they're at the circle. Yeah, Jasper was white. We're simply gonna have to wait and see. And then yeah, aerosol spray. Yeah, sure, whatever. What what that boat? Yeah, I'm not sure how Solux and Aridin would sound together, but probably probably be insane. Well, it's probably Aridin's pompous ass little fucking attitude and then Solux's lisp. Oh, this is just okay. Choose your character. A character selection menu has appeared through the power of non-linear storytelling. You know the drill by now, and you uh, ha ha have, have some free will. Or just go in this order, if you think agency is overrated. The fact that you are, decided, the fact that you are dedicated and loyal reader is obvious and, 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 and indisputable, so of course you won't be moving ahead without having taken a gander of all the options present, presented to you. Alright, let's see what fucking Roxy and Kanai are talking about today, kids. Wait, did it update? Did it work? Did it work? Yes, it did. Okay. Alright. Hey. Oh, hey! Hey to you again, except slightly more quietly. Oh, sorry. Why are we whispering? I'm not entirely sure. That just seems to be whatever what everyone has uh, last to doing. And now speaking a, in a normal volume will draw more attention than desired, especially when attempting to have a private conversation. Okay, they're whispering for some reason. I'm I'm loving this private convo already, but you might but you might need to make it snappy. John looks about ready to get down and dirty with some uh, serious leadership biz. Why can't Rose and can I just be together? I mean Rose and fucking Roxy, not Rose. Wow, <laughs> well, that's Lalancest right there, and that's a thing. But uh, I meant John or John and Roxy. Um, all right then, I I I will attempt to make to. Wow, damn, I'm already fucking up. It's fucking. It hasn't even been 10 minutes, I think. Maybe it. Maybe it's been 10 minutes. I don't fucking know. You guys know I don't record myself. Record the timing of my videos. I always say, hey, I can't let this video be like a 30 minutes. And then I just kind of guess if it's 30 minutes. And sometimes I'm right. Sometimes I'm fucking wrong as shit. Uh, but. Uh, blah. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, all right. Then I will attempt to make to. Why do I, I keep I keep adding the word make and it's not there. It's like when I read words or sentences, like my mind tries to automatically fill in the blanks. So when I see I will attempt to, and after that, it's just like, oh, I just put in make, and it's not there, and I start fucking up. Like, I don't know, my mind has this weird autofill subconscious thing in, like, it just, in, like, about, I'd say about 70%, 75% of the time, it doesn't fucking work. Like, right now, I'm fucking up the sentences, because I'm adding words that aren't there. It's, like, the most annoying fucking thing. Um, once again, third time's the fucking charm. 
All right then, I will attempt to be brief. I wanted to thank you again for the uh, matrono, the matron, yeah, you know, the orb, the egg. But additionally, for everything else you've accomplished today, I know being the one to strike the final blow against our shared enemy in the midst of battle does not necessarily warrant gratitude. But I thought it might be nice for you to hear that what uh, what you did was appreciated. At least by me. I should be whispering, but I don't care. But I'm not going to whisper right now. On behalf of my species, as well as all those who suffer at the behest of the Condens, and all those who and all those that may be born and live free uh, of tyranny, you did good. <laughs> Thank you, Roxy. You're still bae. Oh my God, I am. I am cry. I, I hate Roxy sometimes. That wasn't brief. <laughs> it's a, it says that wasn't brief at all. But it was so beautiful. <laughs> Roxy, what the fuck does that mean? GDI, come here. Yeah, okay, whatever. Um, I would prefer if we saved the hug for later, maybe. Oh, okay, that's cool. Anyways, I have just only met you, but you already proven yourself to be an extraordinary individual as your, as your, uh, Rose. As my Rose? <laughs> yes, your Rose. <laughs> Winky face. Yeah, so Kanaya <laughs> wants, uh, uh, Roxy's vagina. So you know you're gonna have some nice lawn the lawn troll threesome or some shit. That's probably there's probably some fan fiction on it somewhere. I'll probably look it up and I'll let you guys know if I actually find it. Um where was I at? Blah 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 beginning. Okay, looks like John got distracted by something. So since we got a little more time to chat up, and so and so long as we're exchanging bomb as fuck fill fill yeah, that long word right there. You're not too shabby yourself, you know. Like damn, like I was absolutely right when you were one deadly customer, seeing you whip out that beastly chainsaw was a sight to behold. I really did not do all that much, surprisingly, or perhaps unsurprisingly. I'm not sure if I was erring on the side of caution after all, out of consideration for the gift you gave me, or perhaps I was simply unpractic un unpracticed, not unpractical. See, like I don't know what the fuck. Where, where's the L? It's nowhere. So why? So why say practical? No, it's it's unpracticed. <laughs> Oh, once again, autocorrect. I'm just like, oh, okay, I'm practic and then it's like, oh, A L A L, and like, no, it's E D, bitch. Like, fuck, mind can't stop. Who cares? <laughs> Who <laughs> we won? <laughs> Gave that witch <laughs> what's coming to her, and the end of the and 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 that's the end of what? <laughs> mm. And that's the end of that. No point in getting our uh, knickers all in a twist over it for uh, no more. Yeah, I suppose you're right, though I do wonder how things might have gone if I hadn't attempted to dust off one of those old frame or uh, frame motives, fra free free motives, frame motives, not that I ever got much use out of them before. Y no kidding, that would have been pretty badass, we could have had a, a, had a sick combo, void and, uh, space. Oh, right, yeah, space. It may have been indeed been sick, but upon further reflection, perhaps not. Wait, really? How come? I don't feel like I ever got the opportunity to truly get in touch with my aspect like you. It's never seemed to, uh, per- i never seen per- pertinent and- yeah, that word's getting skipped. That I, uh, be able to cast some sort of space enhancement. In fact, I have yet to stumble uh, across a scenario I could not handle through more than traditional methods. You mean a deadly body slam full of sharp metal teeth twice the length of your head? <laughs> Precisely. That's ten. That tends to cover the bases pretty well. <laughs> well, you know what? That's cool. You do you. Besides, hopefully there won't be any more reason for you to wreck shit. That would be the ideal, I suppose. However, it's always wise to be prepared, just in case. Uh, of course. And hey, just because we won the game doesn't mean there won't be any more opportunities like explore yourself and your aspect. Our cool powers are too friggin' handy for them just to stop being relevant once we walk through the magic door. Maybe someday you'll get a chance to blitz your uh, your chakras and get spacey with it. And it'll be your own pace instead of having to rush for the sake of fixing some giant space, 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 yeah, atrocity, I mean, okay, space and catastrophe. Put those two words together, you get space catastrophe. I got it. It's like I had I I had to take the time, and like my mind had to sort things out. It's like, like I I have the worst condition. It's like I have a speech impediment, so I tend to try to speak faster than my words can than my words can think. And then like I also fucking have this auto fucking fill shit. And then I swear to God, I have some sort of dyslexia. So you mix the speech impediment with the auto fill and the, the fucking dyslexia. You just you 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 just get a nigga who can't read and or talk for that matter 
it's uh, I've been complaining about this for every like what five minutes. Sorry if you get annoyed, just let me know and I'll kill myself. It's fine. Um, blah 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 blah. blah. Where was I? At? That does sound nice. Considering right now, I'm very unsure how even to begin how e how to eat. Fucking fuck. Considering right now as. Considering right now, I'm very unsure on how to even begin blistering those particular chakras. I bet you can ask John. He's really good at giving advice for stuff like that. Though he probably doesn't even know it. <laughs> You're also very good at giving advice. That was not necessarily a request. I simply thought I should put... Uh, I should... That was not necessarily a request. I simply thought I should point that out. Too bad you're getting some anyways. Really though, I've hardly even begun to wrestle my booty powers into submission. Still got a long way to go on that front, but thus far but thus far most my blistering has been like being around the thing, letting myself embrace this like natural ener natural synergy I got I got going with it. When you say the thing, do you mean nothing? Considering your aspect presides over literal nothingness? Yes, that's what I mean, bitch. Fucking bitch. Now, nah, Kanaya is really cool. I love Kanaya. Out of all the trolls, like, like Versco was Bay for a bit, but then, I don't know, when she turned, like, to a fucking bitch, I was like, alright, I don't kind of like you anymore, but she's alright now, but Kanaya, like, one classy, elegant gal. Too bad she's interspecial lesbian, or whatever. Once again, there's probably, there's probably fan fiction of something where she's not fucking gay. I don't know. Um... I was into Karka X Kanaya for a little bit there, just to let you know. Now, you guys may be thinking, isn't that kind of like incest? Not, it's, it's, it's not incest, but you know, it's, it's kind of like, you know, inside the past, you know, Jade, no, Jade, Kanaya basically took care of Karka, you know, their ancestors, so it's like, isn't it like mom and son? I'm like, yeah, but like, I don't know, the ship was pretty good, because, you know, they kind of get together, but they kind of have a pale relationship more than anything else, but, you know, I kind of like the dabble in like the romance so you know i just kind of car cat x kanaya is it's a pretty nice pairing as well i don't know why i was also into john x Aradia for some reason i don't know why but i did find a fan fiction it was pretty fucking good until you know like all fan fictions that are good they stop making updates and they either get out of the fandom or or i mean they either get tired of the fandom and they lose their interest or like life hits them like a fucking rock and next you know they can't update for like three years and once again i'm getting sidetracked again let's continue on with the reading shall we all right okay i was just attempting to clarify how does one surround themselves with the concept of non-existence i don't know when you put it a uh, when you put it that way it sounds pretty mind-bending i guess i've been lucky or maybe the nothing is naturally attracted to me and luck's got nothing to do with it but I got the Voidy Ring on one, uh, at one point, and when John started getting uh, to fixing the timeline, he took me to a place that felt like the nothingness, nothing to ever exist. That sounds interesting. What was it like? Damn, I I, I, I really get sidetracked. Like I should just cut it out, cause y'all niggas can, y'all guys can get mad at me for getting so sidetracked. The next thing you know, I get guy like not a heart. Stop fucking talking to Rita. Like damn, I'm sorry. Oh well, she's thinking about shit. Well. It was white, but not pure white, just slightly off, and it was super vast, but not like the regular outer space where you can actually see stuff like stars stretch on until you can't see it anymore, which at least gives you a sense of distance, but instead it was almost claustrophobic because there was nothing there, and you and all the other somethings just completely enveloped by a shrink wrap of absence. Hmm. Never really try. <laughs> oh, absence. I said absence. It's like fucking sex. What the... Never really tried putting into putting this into words. I think the thing about it was that the void. I think the thing ab about it was that the void of some sort changed depending on how I chose to perceive it. Cause I don't know the whole point is. Cause I don't know. Wait, no. Cause the whole point is that it's kind of like, I don't know, maybe a little binary, binary. You know, binary computer language zero one one zero zero zero. Oh, that. The way it works is ba that's. The way that works is basically you have a bit, like a, t a computery bit, and it can either say it's zero or one, and depending on which it is, the com wow, wow, come on, read, nigga. And depending on which it is on the computer displays the info differently, but the void is kind of like a completely blank bit. There isn't a zero or a one written on it, on the bit, yet that's all. 
God, what's wrong? I can't, I can't. Okay, this is worse. This is worse than usual. Like, I literally cannot, like, I just stop reading. Oh, probably because I'm fucking tired. It's 4 o'clock in the morning, boy. I, sorry, guys. Bear with me like you guys do every fucking video. Just, 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 just bear with me. And depending on which it is, the computer displays the info differently, but the void is like a completely blank bit. There isn't a zero or a one ran on it, on the bit yet, but that's all, uh, that's all we're programmed to understand, you know. Like, zero is technically nothing, but for what, uh, what's important is that there's something there for you to see. But what I'm getting at is that the, that, the, that really void is just a blank space waiting to be written on by someone like yours truly i'm the computer and you're the person reading the display all right i finally said that shit i don't know why i can't fucking read jesus christ Ugh. and my whole voidy thing it's just that i just got to figure out the code for whatever i want to make exist and write it on a blank bit and then i snatch it out of the void that's actually uh, that, that that's a really interesting way to say it like whoever made that little concept is 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 really cool like it's like that that that's a really nice concept <laughs> Goink, <laughs> zoink scoop can i was just like amazed wow that was really quite in, uh, insightful roxy i think i'm really to being to understand things better but what is this <laughs> it's lipstick uh be sure it's lipstick and it's for you i don't really know if pink's your color but <laughs> here, here here it is anyways another gift why I don't know. I mean, it's actually kind of cool. I was able to make this at all. Make this at all. I bet it must. Uh, it must be because of your. Because uh, of you somehow. You're like lipstick. It's a, you like lipstick, right? Okay, let's. I got it right. Yes. I don't know if this is just me, but I bet this. This is totes a thing with space players. I like to get this vibe that you guys are more in touch with your objects around you, specifically the ones that are important to you. I suppose. Well, are you gonna take it or what? <laughs> I, I really can't accept this. I was attempting to alleviate the debt of gratitude I have already been accumulating towards you. A measly thanks, uh, a thank you was hardly enough, and yet you present me with even more to be thankful for. Man, that's not how this works. You don't owe me nothing. But, heck, if it makes you feel better, the space egg wasn't really for you. It was for all the little trolls that need to be born. Skewering and the skewering the batter witch was definitely for me <laughs> and Earth stuff. And the lipstick is a thank you for taking such a good care of my mom. That does make me feel slightly better. So you'll take it? Okay, hella. Thank you again. <laughs> Don't mention it. All right, we got done with that conversation. Oh, uh, Dirk and Jake, <laughs> that's some uh, gay shit waiting to happen. Not bad. Being gay is okay. It's 2017. I mean, like you know, like maybe they might get, to, you know, they might flirt a little bit or something. I don't know. Uh, Rose and Jake. Okay, we can really just go in order. Like this guy was right. We should just go in order. I'm just gonna go one, two, three. I don't know how long I've been recording. I think I've been recording for about maybe 15 minutes. Okay, I guess I can't click that. Oh. Um, okay, so... Oh, I think, depending on how long this conversation is, I'll read one more conversation, and then after that, I'll stop it for the next episode. And I'll just continue on after. Maybe if I stop talking every five minutes, and I can actually get some shit done. But, you know, you, you, you already know that's not going to happen, so... All right, so that was some fight, huh? Oh yes, yeah, sure, it sure was a doozy of a brawl we just participated in, or rather, multiple brawls. I think you're probably up to speed on exactly how well, uh, how well mine went. Um, should I be? Never mind. Sorry, it's just difficult to. Uh, uh don't worry, it doesn't actually matter. The important part is that you won, right? Yeah. How did yours go? If you feel like sharing, that is. Oh, oh, I I won too. <laughs> yeah, he was fucking fighting 13 green men. They ate cookies in the middle of the fucking fight. That's just... That's... That was funny. Yeah, yeah. Cascade was really cool. I actually really liked that. That whole Cascade animation was just fucking awesome. Um, well, obviously. I mean, like, specifically how you win. How you won. I'd be down to hear some details of that kick astery you've been dishing out. That must have been pretty crazy solo. Oh, well, I wasn't alone for long, actually. In fact, it was quite the clusterfuck of skeleton sprites and green goblin brutes. The crabby troll fellow even showed up at one point. He seemed to be having a difficult time with one of the t tiny, tinier rascals, but I was up to my ears with, uh, frass, <laughs> frass, 
fracas and fist and fisticuffs myself, I couldn't really lend him a hand. It looks like he was alright, so no harm done. How many of those green dudes were there again? I'm fairly certain there was 14. And you trounced all of them? Actually, Karat <laughs> dealt with one of them, I think. They were small, but decidedly, uh, a, a decidedly tricky foe. It was scurrying around so fast, I don't think a single one of my bullets even grazed it. Well, shit, sounds tough. Still, my score reads Jake13, Goblins0. Oh, and I'm pretty sure the name you're looking for is Carcad. Is that so? Yep. <laughs> my mistake, then. Don't worry about it. It, it. Jake, you're cool. Have you spoken to him at all yet? Nah. Would you like to? I guess, sure. Me and Dave seem to be in the middle of something. I mean, him and he and Dave seem, seem to be in the middle of something, though. No point in interrupting. Besides, I'm talking to you right now. Dot, 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 dot. Come on, guys. Don't be awkward. It's okay. It's okay, guys. Kiss him on the cheek, bitch. Do it. Alright, he's just looking down. Alright, okay. Oh, he's good. Son of a fuck. That was you trying to get me to leave you alone, wasn't it? Uh, well... <laughs> it's fine, I, I get it, finally. You don't want anything to do with me or this awkward dance we've been doing around each other. And I was convinced I actually tried giving you some space so you wouldn't have to deal with my overbearing bullshit anymore. Yet here I am. Honestly, I'm not even sure why. I, did, I just... Had this impulse to try to smooth things over with you by offering you some sort of half-assed congratulations. Sorry for making you feel uncomfortable for a solid 10 minutes by stirring the conversation along. I'll go bother someone else now. Or else. Dirk, wait, bitch! <laughs> what? You don't need to humor me or worry about hurting my feelings or whatever. You're not obligated to care about any uh, about that anymore. The ship has sailed. No, it hasn't. No, it hasn't. I believe that the ship is still probably alive. Oh, shit. Stop. That's not... Oh, pussy feathers. Oh, never thought I'd say that. This is exactly the problem. Uh, it is? I'm so lousy at saying what I mean, and, they, and then you put all the these words in my mouth, and I have no idea how to make you understand. Maybe because I hardly understand myself. This is all so difficult to phase. The parse. Parse? Yeah, that's parse. I'm utterly fucking bamboozled by everything that's happened today. I've tried to politely get over and get get everything to hold its damn horses for perhaps 10 freaking minutes, but no. Those stallions shot right out of the gates with a forceful with forceful gusto. I've been trying to I've been trying to keep from being trampled underneath their thundering hooves this entire time. And there are so many people here. And while I'm sure they're all perfectly upstanding folk, I have no clue how I'm supposed to talk to any of them. Especially when I can't even bring myself to engage with those who I actually know. Because I'm certain that there are a, a plethora of things that I need to apologize for, but I'm still puzzled about exact about what exactly there are. Jake. Honestly, I've been res I've been resigning myself to uh, to the possibility of never speaking to anyone ever again. Considering I'm such a dunce, there's no way I'll ever be able to figure out how to make things right with you or Jane. And if I badger Roxy, I no doubt botch things up with her too somehow. So, what's the point? I'm never going to be good friends, let alone good anything. More than that, wait. I'm never going to be be a good friend, let alone be a good anything. More than that. So, I've already accepted that I'm really just a waste of space, and I ought to spend damn... Wow. Mmm. Sorry, it, J Jake. Uh, J Jake is hitting a hitting a little bit too close to home right now. I'm kind of feeling where he's coming from a little bit, but so it's like when I'm reading it, I'm just like, damn, this kid is fucking depressed. <laughs> like, <sighs> so I've I'd, I've already accepted that I'm really just a waste of space, and I thought I'd spend the rest of my life keeping out of everyone's way. Holy shit, Jake! What? It's just the simplest solution for everyone involved. I'm the fine, and I'm fine with it. I was perfectly willing to willing to mind my own beeswax and allow the rest of you to mind your own and make myself scarce when the opportunity arose. But then you ambled up in me and put the plan on ice. <laughs> Damn, he, uh, like, I, I, I'm 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 relating to him so bad. <laughs> it hurts. I don't know why. It's, if, if you guys have depression, you'd know. I don't know, like, depending on what you're sad about, but, like, some days, like, you just feel as though, like, you're just better off just, I don't know, not existing, you know? I don't know. I don't want to get into too too much feels, but it's just, like, you know, 
Like, I don't know, it's just, like, you just wake up, and now you have all these friends, but, like, you feel like you're such a burden to them. Like, I don't know, you just feel as though, like, just, like, without, like, if, if you weren't there, like, their lives would be better off. So, like, kind of want to, like, I, 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 I wouldn't say that suicidal thoughts, because you can wish to not exist, but, I mean, you, you, you can still technically not wish to kill yourself. So, I, I don't know, I'm not sure if that's suicide, or that's just being sad, or both, but, whatever, back to the story. <laughs> Which has had, which had, which has had me reeling for the past little while. Let me tell you, I don't know what to do because I'm getting the vibe that perhaps you still want to be friends, though I can't even begin to guess why. And I'm so conflicted because there are part, there are a part of me that does want to give the whole religion, the friendship relationship, friendship thing another go, even though I know it's bound to end in disaster. Jake, but I'm not really committed to that mad gamble. It feels like I might just be the only real chance to try to patch things up between us, except I'm so blasted tired. And even thinking about fumbling through the conversation with all these people around me makes me want to curl up to a ball and just embarrass myself. Though, attempting to salvage my pride at this point seems to be a fool's errand. Nobody can possibly take me seriously while I'm not wearing a f any fucking pants. <laughs> <O> okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, jerk. I can't, I, I, I just can't right now. I can't. It's too much. I know it's so typical of me to chicken out and disappoint you. Dude, chill out. Chill out, Jake, please. Uh... Sakes alive. Wait, sakes alive. I can't believe I just went on <laughs> like that. What am I doing? Okay, Jake, I hear you. You can stop now. The fact that you managed to whisper all that... Oh, wow, they're, they're still fucking whispering, and I'm fucking talking as if like they're yelling. The fact that you managed to whisper all this is pretty impressive, but let's take it down a notch. Like, to breathe. <laughs> Are you okay? Maybe we should sit down or something. No, uh, everyone else is standing. I don't really care, and no one else should either. Your legs look like they're about to give out. I'm really fine. Can we please not talk about my legs? <laughs> Shit, sorry. It's your thing. But maybe sitting is, isn't such a terrible idea. Okay, yeah. Yeah, this episode's been definitely going on for at least 25 minutes. At least 25. Maybe even 30. Feeling any better? A smidgen. Are people looking at us? Oh, shit. Let, let, let's look at the picture real quick and bask in its glory. All right. Not sure, probably not, but even so, you aren't the only one who can use a breather. I'm sure they understand. Okay. So, sorry for putting the words in your mouth. Looks like you already have plenty on your own in there. I mean, like, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm actually kind of glad you told me. I'm going to be real with you here and say I'm more of a little concerned about some of the what you just said. But I get you're not in the position to talk about it right now, and hell, there are probably better people to hash that shit out with than me. You don't have to say anything, especially not about, well, us, I guess. I don't know about a lot of stuff, uh, other, what, I don't know about a lot of the other stuff, but I'm perfectly willing to save the, o save the opening up for a particular can of worms for later. I'm probably not, let me, let me read the dots too, I'm probably, no, I'm, dot, 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 probably not ready for the conversation either, so it's most likely for the best. Being perfectly frank, I'm also not exactly enthusiastic about this crowd. I'm not really used to having this volume of people around, and I'm guessing we're both kind of at a loss when it comes to approaching them, uh, 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 when it comes to approaching them all. I demonstrated my lack of conversational chops earlier, I think. I conversational yeah okay i got it right i knew it was a bad idea but i came over here anyways mostly because i think i really just want to talk to you i guess old habits die hard or in this case ridiculously young ones um uh right getting to the point whatever you may think about yourself i can pretty much guarantee you i don't agree but i'm going to put that aside for now and just say that yeah i i i really do still want to be friends and if they're and if there's some heart of you that is willing to give that shot, give that a shot, or give it a shot. I want to make, I, I want you to promise me something. Okay, what is it? That you'll put all that bullshit about cutting ties with everyone aside, at least for long enough to talk about this stuff properly later. It doesn't even need to be with me, just, but just somebody. I mean, I don't want to talk to you. I, I mean, I, I don't want to talk to... I mean, I don't want to talk to your grandma, dude. Oh, you see, like, once I got autocorrect, I, I, I added an I, and there's no I there. That's why that sentence is not making any sense. I mean, don't you want to talk to your grandma, dude? You've been pen pals for ages, and now she's right there. 
That, um, yes, actually, that does sound nice. Good. Maybe we ought to wrap this up then, or am I wrong of thinking you still want us some space? So, as long as we're on this platform, I doubt I'll be getting f very far with that either way. True. What can I really- well, I could really use as a nap. <laughs> I, 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 speech impediment, I feel that. But, it might have to wait a bit longer. Think you can manage until then? Probably? And just to make things crystal clear, until we get this shit together uh, enough to actually talk about, well, you know what? Are we cool? Uh, I think so. <laughs> Thank fuck. Ooh. Look at that good old... Look at that. Look at those good old friends. Come on. Come on. Let's go claim our reward. Alright, we're back at the beginning, and I think I'm going to end the episode right here. It's definitely been at least 25, probably 30 minutes, so... And I also want to go to fuck the bed, because I have to edit this, and that's going to take a minute. So, thank you guys for reading. Uh, sorry for the late video, I guess, again, like always, but... Uh, I'm, I'm going to try to make the videos more consistent. I just... I just get busy, and I also forget. Like, I have two jobs now, actually. Um, so yeah, that's probably why as well. Uh, I, I only had one, but I worked every other day, and then I went to schools on the weekdays, but I didn't have to do anything after, except for if I had made plans already. So, but now I have another job, and I work at that job right after school, so, like, it's just like, depending, because some days, some days I work there, some days I don't, so it's just like, it's kind of like, it's usually like, work, 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 maybe not work, 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 maybe not, like, it's just like, I kind of work all the time now. It's almost a freaking 40 hour work week, almost, not exactly, it's since it's two part-time jobs, but it's almost a 40 hour work week, but still, the money, I got my first check from the other, from the other day, and I was just like, woo, <laughs> that's a nice check, that's some good, that's some good cash, but, um, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna edit this, go to bed, and then, uh, you know, go to work, so, <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next episode. I'll try to update. I'll try to upload some more later. Nightfall. I just checked Nightfall. Um, it's still. Um, it's still. The pages are still broken. So I can't read any more than I can now. So. But yeah. Okay. For real. For real this time. I'm going to go. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Night of Heart. Audi. Wink. Wonk. Wink. Wonk. Wink. Wonk. Wink. Wonk. Wink. Oh. I can't reach the camera because my laptop is. Ugh. Bonk. And I can't even stop the recording. Damn, fuck. Well, this is kind of awkward. I usually end the recording right here when my eyeball is near the camera, but I can't. I think. Uh, yeah, this is as far as I can get. <laughs>